Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning, it's time to have some fun. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me for A Thousand Little Wonders. I'm glad you're here today. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk all about animals that leave signs in the snow. We're going to read a book called In the Snow, Who Has Been Here? and talk about the animals that they find in the book. I hope you enjoy the program today and make sure you get outside and look for some animal signs yourself. In the Snow, Who's Been Here? by Lindsay Barrett George. It is cold and quiet on this winter morning. Cammie, do you want to go sledding on the hill by the old school, William asks. Sure, Cammie says. Mom says we can put out some corn for the animals on the way, William says. The children walk up the lane and cross the township road. They follow an old trail into the woods. Cammie stops to throw corn on the ground. William sees tracks between some barberry bushes. Who's been here? A ruffed grouse. William and Cammy hike up a small hill. They hear a bird song. Whoot, whoot, whoot. The children reach a clearing in the woods. The bird is gone. Fuzzy red balls sprinkle the snow under a clump of sumac. Who's been here? A cardinal. The trail winds along the frozen pond. William and his sister look up into the branches of an old oak tree. They see a leafy nest. Who's been here? A family of gray squirrels. The children pass a hemlock tree. Freshly cut and gnawed branches lie at the bottom of the tree, but there are no footprints. Who's been here? A porcupine. Let's put the rest of the corn under that white pine tree, Cammy says. They spread the corn and find a pellet of feathers and bones at the base of the tree. Who's been here? A great horned owl. William stops the toboggan. He sees a small hole in the snow. It's the entrance to a tunnel. Broken acorn shells surround the hole. Who's been here? A chipmunk. William and Cammie follow the trail down to the brook. They see tracks going in and out of the water. William finds a fish head on the bank. Who's been here? A mink and a trout. A clump of birch trees grows along the trail. A patch of bark has been rubbed off of one of the trees. Who's been here? A buck. The trail passes through a gate in a stone wall and ends in an open field at the top of the hill. We're here, William says, and it's a long way down. Cammy finds a toboggan with a thermos of hot chocolate, three cups, and some donuts. I wonder who's been here, she says. But William knows. It's their mom. The end. There are all kinds of signs that we can find in the woods. Like the ruffed grouse, who is always active in the winter time. So you can still see signs of ruffed grouse in the winter. You can see their tracks on the ground, which look a little bit like an arrow in the snow. Another fun bird to see in the wintertime is the northern cardinal. Their bright red colors make them very pretty against the white snow. Cardinals are the bird that you hear singing, birdie, 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 in the spring. Cardinals eat seeds, so they don't need to fly south for the winter or migrate. The seeds that they eat can be found sometimes at bird feeders, but a lot of times they're able to find their seeds in nature, like the sumac bush that they show in the book. 
cardinals are one of my favorite birds to have come and visit at the bird feeder. Another friend that comes to visit the bird feeder is the gray squirrel. The gray squirrel is active all winter long, just like the porcupine. Porcupines aren't as visible as gray squirrels. Porcupines hide up in the trees and very rarely come down, especially in winter. But porcupines are active all winter long, so you can see that they've been eating from the tops of their trees with all the branches and twigs that fall down to the ground below the tree. It's really neat to find a tree that a porcupine lives in. Great horned owls are also a bird that stays active all winter. You can see great horned owls up in the trees in the wintertime, and sometimes you can hear them hoot. Hoo, 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 hoo. It's fun to find their pellets of bones and fur on the ground. They look a little bit like animal waste, but it's just an owl pellet. Chipmunks aren't found very often in the winter because the chipmunks here in Wisconsin spend all of their winter underneath the ground while they're hiding from the cold weather. They store the nuts that they gather through the fall and they put them down in their tunnels beneath the ground. It's very rare that you see chipmunks out in the winter time. Minks are long, skinny animals that move their bodies like a slinky. It's fun to find their tracks in the snow. They live near water like rivers and lakes because they like to eat the fish out of the water. The white-tailed deer is easy to spot in the winter because their tracks can be found in lots of different spots. They have their antlers on only through January, so you won't always see their antlers after that. Well, I hope you enjoyed that book and learning a little bit about the animals that were found in that book. It's one of my favorite books to read, especially in the winter time when I'm getting ready to go outside and look for some animal signs. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to everyone. Goodbye, goodbye, we sure did have some fun. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a good time and get outside and explore the outdoors.